everybody. We see them on television and in the movies and sometimes out in real life. Beautiful women who carry themselves with confidence and radiate happiness from the inside out. Some people call them hot chicks. Jody Lipper and Serena Vincent are the authors of the Hot Chick book series, and they say being hot has very little to do with what you look like or your age. Please welcome co-author of Live Like a Hot Chick, How to Feel Sexy, Find Confidence, and Create Balance at Work and Play, Serena Vincent. Thank you for having me. You definitely qualify as a hot chick, so oh. I think you have street cred going in. Well, Let me just say that. You're very sweet, but you know, <laughs> you know, because you are a hot chick as well. Not every, you know, we don't always feel that way. No, oh, true. Which in is fact, why I, I consider myself sort of a lukewarm chick. No, at this stage, but. <laughs> stop it. You're hot, but you know what? I'm glad that you 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 mentioned that because we really want for every woman to understand first and foremost that when we say hot chick, we're not talking about looking like you walked off the cover of a magazine. We're talking about an inner confidence. We have, Jody and I have redefined this term in all of our books. It's about being a confident, empowered, passionate right. woman who knows what she wants, knows how to get it, and doesn't apologize for what size she is, for her appetite, for her relationship status. Right. That's what we're talking right. about. You know, it, it, reading this and thinking about that, not apologizing for who you are, and sort of the girl approach we take to everything, I was thinking about, notice this next time when you're out with your girlfriends. We almost always say, I'm sorry, but could I get a cup of coffee? Or something? Like, you know, we apologize for we being apologize there. apologize for everything. You know, just yes. for every little thing that goes on, or if you don't mind, or whatever. And we, you know, we lack sometimes the confidence just to be straightforward about what it is we want in life. Exactly, standing up for what we want in life. And actually, this book, Live Like a Hot Chick, is, is about balance. And it's about actually creating that life of your dreams for yourself. And it starts with confidence. It starts with inside. What made you and Jody want to write these books to begin with? Well, Jody and I, um, we met about 10 years ago, and we became instant friends. And um, through our friendship, we realized that we were both su suffering from a lot of the same insecurities. We were, you know, freaking out about, you know, eating a cupcake or, or this or that, or missing, a, you know, a gym, and stressed out about our careers, and stressed out about our love lives. And we realized that, you know, what we're showing the exact same insecurities all these women are too it's time that we stop this madness tell ourselves that we're beautiful and hot and and powerful and um, just not be scared to go after what we want in life well let's and talk it works. about some tips okay. for how this works so we can because we have heard and I believe you that we can do this at any age and that it's not you know it's not about going around looking like a Southwestern Airlines, you know, stewardess from the 70s in hot <laughs> pants or something. It's about some other stuff. So what are your five tips that will make us all hot chicks, at least internally? Well, um, yes. Um, our top five tips, I mean, this, the book is full of tips, but first and foremost, know that you're a hot chick. Like, really shut off that nasty internal monologue that tells yourself that you're not skinny enough or not pretty enough, and tell yourself instead that you're beautiful and confident. Just saying those, those positive words really does change your confidence. I think that's a great idea. Idea and, and saying them out loud. And saying them out loud. And by yourself. I mean, I don't suggest going down the street saying I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, <laughs> but saying them out loud. Tip number two. Tip number two is to stop competing and comparing yourself to other women and stop cutting other women down. So when you, you're in the supermarket and you see the tabloid magazine that's pointing out women's, you know, cellulite patches, stop it. Oh, stop that it. That is the worst. It, you is know, we it need not? to lift each other up and yeah. it's really time that women like, you know, bond together and quit cutting each other down. It really is. Let's honor We're the all so beautiful. Everybody. <laughs> honor the sisterhood. Exactly. Tip number three. Tip number three is um, do, do your, your job, job, but know when to stop. You know, again, this book is all about balance. And, um, you know, if you have a job, be grateful that you have one in this economy. And when you're at your job, do your job, but know when to stop. So that means no sending emails from your BlackBerry when you're in bed with your boyfriend or your husband. Like, know when to shut off. Have some balance. You need to have some balance. Well, there is balance. no balance if you just, you know, work has now become 24 7 it, because it is possible to be at the office. It's true. And so virtually. we have to make a conscious decision to say, you know what? I'm done. I'm like, I'm shutting down, I'm recharging, I'm pouring a glass of wine, right. you know, I'm watching Dancing with the Stars, <laughs> balancing out your life. Tip number four I love, make food fun. Make food fun again. Our first book, How to Eat Like a Hot Chick, it was called the <laughs> anti-diet book. Because it's about, you know what, stop feeling guilty for eating cupcakes and pizza and drinking beer or hamburgers, french fries. Like, we need to 
you know, we need to stop hating ourselves for eating these foods that we enjoy. But at the same time, balance. So when you're at the office, don't go to the vending machine and eat ding dongs and Twinkies. All Save day long. those calories yeah. for, you know, happier with your girlfriends. That sounds like a good idea. And again, balance. Mm -hmm. And the, the fifth tip make time for playtime. Make time for playtime. It's true. You know what? Life is hard and life is short and we're all so busy trying to make ends meet to pay the bills and do the laundry like we need to actually schedule in time to have fun and we want to tell every woman Jody and I that no matter how old you are right now is your heyday like you need to make this decision right yeah. now that it's your heyday this is the time in your life that you're going to have the most fun so whether that's scheduling yoga with your girlfriends or you know whatever you a enjoy. long bath for yourself or you know happy hour we need to make time to enjoy ourselves. I like it. I have several friends who are in their 50s and 60s who are confident and fun and I would say are the hottest chicks I know. So, That's, you know, and they're, they're over the 20s and worrying about what everybody thinks of them. They're a little more worried about what they think about things no, at this it's point. So true. And I love it. So, I, so I think true. that's fun. So, let's live life like a hot chick. Yay. Let's do it. The book is available in bookstores now, but you can also get it by visiting our website, king5.com slash newday. And thanks to Serena, because today is Monday Madness, everybody in the studio audience is getting a copy of the book. Yay! I wonder how that will affect the men in our audience, because they oh, too. No, you know what? All you men out there, you'll, you'll understand women a lot better there if you read these books. They're really funny, too. Um, I, so I enjoy it. Yeah. Just live like a hot dude is, is exactly. what you can do. Okay, thank you so much. Thank we you appreciate so much. it. That thank was so you. much fun. When we come back, what you need to know about staying healthy for the wintertime, some nutrition tips for cold weather that can keep you away from cold meds coming up. We'll be back in a moment.